because I really love music and crazy about musicians and I'm particularly excited by the local music scene in Seattle. I have as a filmmaker a really high standard for the level of naturalism that I want. I, I think, you know, the movies I like to see, the movies that really resonate with me um, and TV shows and whatever kind of media are, are the kind that actually feel authentic and have people that are recognizable and um, that I believe, you know. My first feature I made in a very traditional way, but my last two features I made uh, with completely improvised scripts. And so instead of having a, a, a traditional script, I would have a sort of very structured outline and would know exactly what was going to take place in each scene. Sometimes with non-actors, you're going to get much better performances out of them in general if they don't have to memorize lines. In my experience, it's much, much better to let people, um, to give people a concept, you know, give people the idea of a scene or idea even of just a line and let them come up with their own, how would they say it in real life, you know? And then I also make sure that the crew is, is very, very um, centered on putting the actors at ease. You know, you can create a culture on set that's a very positive one, relaxed but focused. But it, really, it also comes down to, the, to choosing the right people to be there. I find that whenever everybody is having a great time and is really relaxed and focused and positive and you know, feeling valued and all that good stuff, it, it really does uh, create a better result at the end. I still, to this day, um, never want to work alone again. Um, but I, I keep looking for ways to adapt the traditional filmmaking method so that it works best for me and creates the work that um, I can most be proud of. What's up with karaoke? Quite obviously, <laughs> I'm a frustrated <laughs> rock star. <laughs> you know, it's funny because I only started going to karaoke like, you know, two years ago or something, and it was really took a long time, you know, to figure it out and to not be terrified and not have to be super drunk by the time I went up there. And, you know, I was only doing duets, you know, at first and all that, like just, just the and then something clicked for me. <laughs> I don't know why, but this, yeah, it was like right before, or right during $5 cover, it was like, I just got over it. And I think it happened to a lot of the people. <laughs> Probably because we were watching all of these musicians and it was very inspiring. And I think in this Chinese restaurant bar, we can also be rock stars in our minds. <laughs>